Today we're working on revising our informational rough drafts step by step. This is step three, replacing general words. So I'm going to go to my essay. In my essay about my holiday, I need to look for any boring baby words or any words that are so general that they're useless, they don't mean anything. I'm going to read my first body paragraph. On Memorial Day, U.S. citizens often have decorations. For example, you might see flags, ribbons, or poppies. Stuff is red or blue. It's even a tradition to put flowers or flags on the graves of soldiers, whether they died in combat or at home. Okay, do you see the general, baby, boring, unspecific word? Because I sure do. If I say stuff is red or blue, stuff is super unspecific. What is red or blue? Is it people's socks or is it fireworks? Like that's not anywhere near specific enough. So I need to go ahead and revise this sentence. I'm going to cross out where it says stuff is red or blue, but I want to leave it so that I can see it. So I'm going to just do a strike through. And then I'm going to insert a new sentence and talk about what is red or blue. So you will see red or blue paper plates at picnics. American flag themed pinwheels will blow in the breeze. Some people even wear red or blue clothing. You see how much more specific that is? Instead of saying stuff is red or blue, I can say that the paper plates at picnics are red or blue, the pinwheels are American flag colored, or people wear red or blue clothing. That's more specific and it lets my reader imagine it more clearly than if I just say stuff. So what you need to do is you need to look through your draft for words like stuff, happy, bad, sad, mad, good, um, enjoy, and give us a more specific description that the, that the reader can actually visualize in their brain.